life is going. Because, see, I can look at my brother and say, motherfucker, you can't talk to me about nothing. My house paid for this and this and that. I can, I can do that. I can act like a jackass, but advice is free. So when a person take their time to tell me something like that, knowing what I could say, I listen. Because I know they telling me that from a position of love and no hatred. So I said, man, it hurt now that he's right. And I hope if y'all got a, a brother or a friend or somebody like that in your life that tells you the truth, that don't force the situation, that just look back and observe a person's behavior and can tell you why they're saying what they're saying. Look, I saw how that person reacted to this situation. You said X, Y, Z. It was logical. It made sense. They said X, Y, and Z. It made no sense. You got to be careful. If they do that, female or male, that's your, a real friend. A lot of people, what they end up doing is they end up giving advice to other people based on negative shit that happened to them. I try not to do that. That is, that is the worst thing to do. Don't give negative advice to people based on the negative shit that you went through. You're going to block someone else's blessing. Every woman is not going to be a thigh. Every man is not going to be a hoe. You just ran into a hoe. Hell, you might have made him a hoe because all that talking. There's things that happen to people that's their personal business. We got to stop trying to do what we're doing. But... My brother will be up here tomorrow, and I'm happy to have a, a face that around me that I know is, is honest with me, man, that don't want nothing from me. Because nowadays, when I see a girl or I see somebody, I don't know what they want from me. I don't know what they're going to do to me. So it's just like, fuck this shit. Fuck this shit. Now my window broke. But you know what, though? Every time type this type of shit right here happened to me, like, it'd it, it be, it be a storm, right? It'd be a storm like this, a negative shit, negative shit, negative shit, negative shit. And you know what happened after a storm, after all that rain and shit like that? After a nice, hard storm, uh, after a volcano, and after, you know, years of healing. Well, look at here. It usually grows some beautiful shit after that. Right after that storm, boy, that grass pop out, it'd be Ooh, green than a motherfucker, longer than a bitch. Sunshine like a motherfucker, boy. Tops drop. <laughs> yeah. So, I'm gonna go. See, this done blow me, so I might have to go. I ain't gonna relapse and smoke me no hookah. Because, boy, them workouts hurting. But, uh, I might have to go smoke me some of that real ganja today. This make you just want to. No, this ain't no bad day. It's the sun shining. This ain't no bad day. This just a mishap. This just a stupid motherfucker. I'm finna go get it. I'm finna go get into another vehicle with window is fixed and not like this. And then I'm going to put on me some regular shoes in a minute. And then I'm going to have me some denture. <laughs> Shit. I, this nigga ain't get nothing. And I'm going to move a little smarter. I'm not going to leave a motherfucking thing in the car. And hey. Stress is a daily test from God. Kwame is handling it right. Oh, yeah. I had me a beautiful workout this morning. Yeah, yeah. I'm talking about, man. It's my, my lungs starting to come around and starting to, you know, get ready for that 90 minutes a day. You know, like I said, I used to do 90 minutes of cardio every day. Uh... And to me, that type of cardio, it made me ready for whatever. Like, it made me physically, mentally ready for whatever. And then through the drama and stresses of life, other people's personality, shit I had going on, shit I'm dealing with, you know, I slacked on that type of workout, which was the best thing for me. It was the best stress reliever. So I said, you know what? I got to get back to that. Because once you get that routine down, Pretty much everything that happened after that, you can deal with it. So I'm going back to my routine and being centered on, around that and and just finding me a soft little corner to read 
I started reading books and then my, it was chaos. All this shit going on behind the scenes. You can't take time to read a damn thing. <laughs> so I will be giving myself an hour a day, hour and a half a day to get me a little book in and just be less accessible to the phone. So I'm starting to see that this internet clout chasing shit, uh, it really drives people. And the people that's near you, they'll try to use that as your prison, as your, oh, you're on the internet. So you, and it's like, no. And I wish I was what everybody thought I was. Like everybody thinking, oh man, Kwame got all these girls. He's sleeping with all these girls on the internet. Uh, no. I think I communicated with one, maybe two. And that was just, hey, how you doing? Appreciate you uh, always being on the page and super chatting and stuff like that. And Oh, one girl I do want to take to dinner, though. Shit, now I'm busted but single, but, um, yeah. But other than that, I'd be chilling. Like, if this, if I wasn't the number one draft pick and got this type of fame that quick, then, yeah, this would be something new. But, man, if I tell you the shit I haven't seen, <laughs> like, no, I ain't tripping off that. I'm old. I'm old, man. I, I ain't trying to do all that. And I will advise you young cats, man, learn from mistakes that people like me, not mistakes. I hate to say that because the, the, the lifestyle, learn from the lifestyle, learn from the lifestyle of chasing women or not even chasing because I never chased. Learn from the lifestyle that of entertaining women, especially uh, women that don't really think about having a kid with the concept of marriage. There's some women you can have the same pleasure, you could do the same whatever with, but they're not going to result in a baby because they're connected to the fact that they're not gonna raise a kid up in that situation. So you just gotta be mindful of who you're dealing with. You gotta be mindful, and I do that now. I, I, don't, want, I don't want no more oops babies. Like, no, that don't result into the strong uh, nation that we trying to build. Oops, babies don't do that. Oops, babies take you to the courthouse and have white people in your business. So my whole thing is, men, you got to make sure when you talking to a woman, make sure she's her own woman. She's not her mother. She, uh, she's not going to bring a mother with you. She's not going to bring her friend's ideology with her. It's going to be you and her like it's supposed to be. So if I can find something like that, I do that. I want to be a thought. I ain't going to lie. I want to be a thought. The DMs I got, Lord have mercy. If this was 2000 and whatever, before all this shit, boy, look here. Ooh, ooh. I want to be a thought so bad. I'm talking about so bad. But I'm not because there's a bigger picture. And I understand how the things that I'm saying make so many people want to come at me. So... I got to find some people that's connected to something. I ain't with all that monkey shit. So <sighs> let me go in here and get me some water, not ganja, water. And let me go get out of this vehicle that somebody can just jump in and out the window. But you guys, what would you say? I laugh out loud. I want to be a thought. Yeah, I want to be a thought so bad. I'm talking about man. These ladies like me, boy. They like, well, I don't know if they like me. They like what I'm saying. So at least if I wanted to thought with them, I could thought. But uh, I, I just don't want what come with after that. No, I ain't. Mm -mm. <laughs> April, you taking that date? Man, what's wrong with y'all? <laughs> 